Okay, Malvor episode 23. Wow, we slaughtered apparently a lot of tentacles in the course of a few hours. We gained 13 levels, which is fantastic because that nets me an additional. I think it was about four levels of combat, which isn't bad. 66 grand is like child's play at this point. So, I'm really worried about that too much. <clears throat> New pants, but not that much longer. Okay, so, I need the amulet. No if, ands, or buts. <clears throat> at this point. The question is, how quickly can I kill it? So, like, I'm pretty sure I'm at the point where it's like I can use rune gear. So let's actually see. 30%. Jesus! Okay, so that's... That's not gonna be enough. <clears throat> okay, so I need the pants, the armor, and the shield. That, at this point, is what matters the most. I'm gonna increase our hit chance. That actually helps Nicely. But can I get the gear I need? <clears throat> the ones aren't. Well, that is trying to get me my gear. Let's see how many cottages I can upgrade. Because <clears throat> at this point, I'm not using money, and I'm getting about three grand. Or sorry, about three mil an hour. This is not good. Ninety nine mil. Damn. Magic is current. Okay, so I need magic to get alt magic, but magic is useless without rune crafting, essentially. Okay. So I think I'm going to go rune crafting when I break that amount. All I'm getting is bone. That's a shame. <clears throat> like a real, real shame. Although I'm probably actually at the point where it's like I can kill something a little bit better than a level 14 easily. So it's like to each job that I need to do, essentially. Amulet of Strength for level 35. Okay, I got the plate body. That's good.
because that gives me more rain as well as iron. I don't have the bars to make that better, but that's kind of whatever at this point. What I'm going to be after is the amulet of strength. Does it feel like that could possibly help? <clears throat> What's the other thing? So I'm killing a level 69. Right with my like 64. Tower, Night Dragon, Reflect. Okay, so these just give the hide and the dragon bone. Okay. <clears throat> Staff. Yes. Bring on the increases. This is lovely. Because with each one, I'm reducing their hit chance on me. Because <clears throat> it's like, I'm pretty sure I'm already at the where, yeah, level 40 is ruined, and I do not want to have that one. And there's the shield. Yes! Could not have asked for better. Sell those off. How easily can I fight moist monsters <clears throat> in the West Forest? Oh, this thing only has an 11% chance of hitting. And I have an 82% chance. So realistically, I should be able to level faster now off of leaving and killing these and as well as I was before. However, <clears throat> between this and the next episode, I am not going to be uh, leaving and going on combat. I am probably... Going to start knocking some of these off to get my uh, rank up. That's silver ore gone. Really? <clears throat> but the amulet of strength right there is our main main one, and I'm really hoping I can get it before the end. What does the amulet of strength do? Let's go to the wiki. <clears throat> we want the equipment section. I'm at least getting stamina. Like I'm getting heals out of this, which isn't that bad. Uh, helmet. Nope. <clears throat> Mission range amulet. So it is a <clears throat> tenth of strength. That's not bad. So 
So realistically, the amulet I would want probably the most is the amulet of glory. Which by the looks what I need to be killing Rune Knight. And the reason why I'd want this is because of the fact that it is a <clears throat> bonus to my attack, so I could possibly be hitting more often, which is bloody fantastic. I think, though, that I'm going to actually... Work on some blocking. Because if I can get my blocking up high enough, right, I might be able to just leave it going where I'm killing these things. Which would be nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I should probably get a dagger. Because block is 13. So that is a throwing weapon, sword. Is a stab weapon. Scimitars are a slash weapon, clearly. It's a battle axe. That's a block weapon. Really? <clears throat> That's interesting to know. What about two hand sword? So even a two hand sword is a block based weapon. Dang. <clears throat> very, very interesting. I'm getting Mithril Bark. The source is good. The stamina's helpful. As extra food source. <clears throat> well, I'll take the raw ones as well, just because then I can at least cook them. But I need to increase my hit chance. Like, that is the main thing, right? Is like, if I can increase my hit chance, then I can take up the fight again. However, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the fighters. Are <clears throat> okay, so I can kill those quicker with magic. Okay, so knowing that, so I need approximately about two ticks. <clears throat> So bones and skeletons. Put that in. Okay. Still short. Very up the bone. Don't need copper. Where is tin? Oh, one. 
<clears throat> Same with iron. Oh, okay. There is runecraft. With runecrafting, I can get a <clears throat> normal logs really quick. As well as an air rune. An air rune requires one rune essence, so I'll get that really quickly. Oh shit, I need a hundred. Wow, okay. Um, so I guess I'm going to be leaving this off farming essence then. Because if I can get the rune essence I need, I can level up rune crafting. And if I have rune crafting, then I can kill spiders. And if I can kill spiders, I should be able to get <clears throat> the... Uh, kills faster in the spider forest which should hopefully get me my amulet of looting which will make getting money a lot easier but I am going to be calling this an episode so we got rune crafting and yeah so yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye for now.